We're gonna start things off with Ellis versus June Kubota. Yeah, if y'all saw the sh NXT team stream earlier, for some reason it cut off just as Ellis was having her match with Noble Rose. It was only that match, and they, for some reason, it didn't record that match and the Cruiserweight title match. I generally do not know what happened, but if you want the result of that, Noble Rose beat Ellis, and Akihiko retained his Cruiserweight title against El Blaze. Hopefully this won't cut off during Thunder. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Japan, Ellis. Get ready guys, big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. You can feel the electricity running through Oof. this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Oh, nasty impact. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What a stomp. Good grief. Boom, what impact! Nailed it! Harsh impact! She's starting to stagger a bit, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand oh. so much more punishment than this. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Beautiful technique. Springboard, Phoenix, what? splash! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is dangerous right here. She's licking her chops. She's on her last legs. Whoa! She goes for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She's still in this one.
Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. She has some reason to be concerned here. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. We're looking at complete oh, domination here. Look at her go. And she turns it around on her. Ooh, what impact. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. And she kicks out with relative ease. Going to take more than that. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Boom. <laughs> Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Burning oh, hammer! Burning hammer! This could be the turning point. The shoulders are down. She kicks out of that one. It's going to take more than that. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. Just a step quicker, it looks like. She wants to do this in the ring. Ooh! This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. Will she win it here? An easy kick out there. She's still in this one. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. She's got her where she wants her. We know it. You gotta believe this one's over. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a mat. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. There's the pinfall and the victory. And Ellis walks away with the win. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. I guess she needed it after that whopping. She that, that she done received from Nova Rose. Huh. If only the stream didn't remember cut off this before that match. I remember this part very well. She's taking care of business. And last but not least. Here is your winner, Ellis. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere.
All right, next up we have the PTA taking on the Dirty Pair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Miss Spencer and Bad Girl Dynamite, Team Road Scholars. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match is underway. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Slam down hard. Looking at it here. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Oh, she's starting to sweat a bit. 
I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. Beautiful technique. So close. Just a... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. Suplex. Nice. Ooh. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. She's starting to stammer here. Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. If she's not careful, this could very easily spiral out of control for her in a hurry. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That's space. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Nice. Shut it down. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. I knew it was only a matter of time. That changes everything. She is on Man. fire. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is her ability. She goes for the cover. A kick out. This one's not over yet. You have to put in a little more work than that. Slam. Comes in off the tag. Submission time. She better do something fast. No. She breaks it. Wow. She's quite the escape artist, Michael. She might have it. Clearly not what she was hoping for when she applied this hold. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Oh, breakneck speed. What a hurricane. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro going for broke. You've got to believe this one's over. Incredible. Penny predicament. 
The pin's broken up. She's starting to feel the pressure. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. And this might very well be the turning point of this match. Unless, of course, she can come up with something big here. She's looking a little unsteady. At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. Well, I still think she has the best shot at winning this match. She just seems one step faster than her opponent here tonight. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She's going to need a miracle if she wants back in this one. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. She looks shocked right now, guys. I don't think in her wildest dreams she thought she would be in this position right now. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Great effort from both these teams, guys. But at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. She's locked and loaded and taking no prisoners. Here we go. No, she's too quick for her. What impact. She goes for the cover. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Look at her go. A second time. Ooh, what impact. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Too close for cover. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Nailed it. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. This might be it. Oh, my. This one's over, guys. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Two. Wow, the ref got hit hard there. He may not get back up, Cole. In off the tag. Harsh impact. Oh, oh it's over. Ah, uh, yes, and she's feeling it now, guys. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. This could end it in a hurry. Oh, nasty impact. That has got to be it. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. She's calling for it. She should stay where she is. Look out! She's able to get out of the way there. Big reversal for her there. Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Bringing it back into the ring. She's fading very quickly here, guys. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. His partner must feel absolutely helpless right now. The only thing he can do is stand there and watch his guy get completely decimated. You've got to give these women so much credit. They've really been put through the ringer here tonight. Beautiful technique. I think... One, two, three. They got it.
Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. That's a woman on a mission. This was another great moment. And here's how she finished this thing. Here are your winners, Wild Thing and Sweetness, the Femme Fatales. Now that's eking out a win. Well, when you put women like these together, what do you expect to happen? Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time. Next up, we have the Silent Assassins, also the B also known as the BWA, versus the Rowdy Rough Boys. to the ring at a combined weight of 672 pounds flapjack and the scorpion the assassins this is the one this crowd has been waiting for guys tag team action coming up i can't wait michael like this crowd i've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced
performance, accompanied by Big Meanie, and at a combined weight of 400 pounds, the European Champions, Big Bad, and Big Nasty, the Bad Guys. I gotta say, you wouldn't know this was a non-title match just by looking at the champ. Yeah, he approaches every match the same, regardless of whether his championship's on the line. You have to respect that about him. The tag team action underway here. Oh, man. Making it look easy, Corey. Yeah, but I assure you, walking around with a superstar on your shoulders is no easy task. inside the ring now. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's no secret that oh. quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. the impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. He's not looking like himself here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. 
when you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough. He might have it. When you talk about... Oh, man! What a nasty STO. He's back in control here. Oh, an elbow drop. Looking for the exclamation point. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Vito! Man, that hurts! Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I... Oh, loving it. Yo, Breeze from Asbury Park. Send you a postcard. Can he? He's looking at it. There's no way he's giving up now. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Whoa, what impact. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Picture perfect drop kick. Also by Charles Schultz. I hate you. When this guy's on, look out. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Gets out of the way of that one. Takes him down in a major way, too. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Backbreaker! Uh, going to the top. High risk. There may be no preventing the... T oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. Drop. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Bam! What a slam! Oh, loving it! Pile driver! That's how you put it. He's got him covered. Two! And the fight must go on. Have to put in a little more work than that. Oh, he's such a tough target. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look at this. Oh, he turns it around. He wants no part of the outside. tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Oh, just when you thought he had nothing left. Here he goes.
But he's got to capitalize now. He's looking for the win. Big punch finds its mark. Oh, my goodness. What an impactful STO. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Look at this. Oh, and it's a reversal. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. He's looking at it. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. He needs to find a way. No, it's not over yet. Wow. Part of me thought he was going to tap Cole. there and he tags his partner in momentum has certainly shifted here michael oh no he's taken down no i don't think he has much left you're a nagi to think i almost wrote him off for looking for all the glory here two three and that's it this one is over and the ronnie Ruff boys walk away with the win and here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Man. He ain't messing around. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. I guess we're not going to talk about how Rick is still walking on the top of the top rope. Yeah, you do you. Here are your winners. Big Bad and Big Nasty, the bad guy. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys. Mr. Shakedown will be taking on the NXT North American Champion, Saban. to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 295 pounds, the Gangster. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael.
challenge his opponent from the old country, weighing in at 200. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one on one NXT action. North and Michael, it sounds to me like this champion, crowd already picked the, the one who they want to win this match. Holes. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Oh, what a kick. Here's a cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Remarkable. He's on the defensive here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. Ooh, what impact. No, there's the reversal. Watch this. Oh, oof. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Boom! Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, he's such a tough target. Belly to belly suplex. He's starting to stumble here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. Shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. It's going to take more than that. Line. Ouch. He's looking a little off balance. He came into this match. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Over and over. Can he finish the job? Now, that was an impressive series of moves. Here he goes. Drop kick. Beautiful. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's looking a little weary here. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh, man. His chances are dwindling. The cover. He gets the shoulder up before three. Still too fresh. He might have it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. And if he hits this, this one's over. Harsh impact. This one is over. This could be it. Cover. And he got a near fall out of it. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. He knows he's in trouble. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Uh 
Up and Blackjack! The end may be near, folks. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. Mention of Gucci oh. Absolutely planted. Not so fast. Now he's working that exploit. Jarring impact. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Good golly, what a knee. The fist has been dropped. He looks for it once again. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. Oh no, we could be looking at a power bomb. I think you're right, Cole. Look out. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Nailed it. Here's his moment, Michael. This one's for good measure. Oh, what impact! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. No, he reverses it. This is it. He's looking at it. Go! Oh, no! Wow, what a lariat! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And he goes for the pen. Two, three, yes, takes it. Mr. Shakedown wins it. How about another look at some of the highlights? Look at him go. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Yeah, he's putting in the work. And so it goes. Here is your winner, the Gangster. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. As hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw, we must move on here, guys. Next up is a champion versus champion match. We have Lucia Morgan versus Tanya.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Hackensack, New Jersey, the NXT Women's Champion, Showstopper. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to me like the champ is a little more relaxed than we're used to seeing her. Well, if she thinks she's got the night off just because the title's not on the line, I've got some bad news for her. Because the beating she will take will be anything but a vacation. And her opponent, from the Garden of Eden, the Raw Women's Champion, Tenacious. The way I see it, guys, the champ simply can't afford to give half an effort here tonight, regardless of whether the title is on the line or not. I'd be shocked if she didn't give it her all here. That's just who she is. That's why she currently sits atop the women's division. She doesn't give a half effort in anything she does. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. Yeah. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Aside from Saxton's commentary, oh, this has all the makings of an epic match. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's Oof. not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. And look back, suplex. Oof. Very nice. She goes for the cover, and she kicks out with relative ease. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. What a stomp. Good grief. Up and down. Escapes trouble there.
Oh, nasty impact. Beginning to look bad for her here. But you can bet she has plenty of wow. fight in her. Pump the oh. brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty Ouch. of gas left in the tank. Shoulders on the mat. That wasn't even close to three. Nah, not yet. Too early. And set a vicious knee. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. Oh. She doesn't want to let this get out of control, guys. Looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. Like Michigan during our last presidential election, this match is too close to call at this point. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you whiplash. Man, this has been a great matchup. She goes for the cover. She goes for the cover. And the fight must go on. She's still in this one. Drop suplex. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. And here we go from behind. Right to the back of the neck. She's got a chance to win it. That'll mess up the back of your neck. That's what makes her so. Can she keep her down? way to win a singles match. And Tom, you're We've got some time to take a look at some of the highlights from that one. Almost forgot about this one. Man, oh man, look at that. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here is your winner, Tenacious. Took it to another level to gain that win. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight. All right, it's main event time, and of course, we're going to end it on Thunder Fashion with a steel cage. Steel cage.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Port City, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Eliminator. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Let those intros go on. <laughs> Okay, now we're fixed. North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Eliminator. Corey, what should we be on the lookout for here in this steel cage match? Cole, you can bet both of these superstars will be looking to use the cage to their advantage as much as possible here tonight. At least they should be looking to do that. Guys, I realize the title is not on the line here, but I don't think the champ can afford to give less than a full effort. Well, then I've got some good news for you, Cole, because there's a better chance of Saxton scoring a date for Friday night than there is with the champ giving less than 100%. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, and the rolling next snap. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Oh! 
Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. Lariat, great agility. Boom, running STO, plants him. Nicely done. Big slam. He's starting to feel it here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. You hate to think this way, but part of me thinks he might be over his head inside that steel cage. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 Man. feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage. Here he goes. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Oh, wow. nasty impact. That almost came out of nowhere. But he's got to capitalize now. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most I... He pulls line! Can he finish the job? Focused attack on the back cover here. Oof! And he gets the shoulder up. That's too early for that. Impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, what impact. Avoids trouble there. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. Taking a bit of a beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, I need to point out, shoulders down, is it enough? And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. Not yet. The end may be near. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. Leg drop! You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the W...
This singles contest has a victor. Nailed it. Beautiful technique. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, boom, what impact. And to minimal surprise, Pepsi Man has won the steel cage match. He's getting it done here. Check him out here. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, the Eliminator. Alrighty, folks. Guys. Thank you for well, tuning in to Thunder. And NXT, if you were here earlier in the morning, hopefully you'll join us again tomorrow for SmackDown. Really hope you enjoyed the show, and as always, good fight, good night. See you next time.